For number seven, we're going to fill out a table summarizing really the bulk of module three, not just this new section. We're going to first discuss or fill out what does a proportional relationship look like or what are the qualities with a graph. So the, what we need to see on our graph is the graph is linear. in passes through the origin. Maybe making a little sketch here would be helpful. This is the y-axis, the x-axis. And there's my line. What happens with equations that are proportional? Well, they come in the form y equals mx with nothing else attached. So some examples could be y equals 2x, y equals 3 fourths x, y equals just x or 1x. And then what happens with the table for a proportional relationship? The y over x ratio is constant. And because it is constant, it has a COP. So we'll circle yes. And it has a rate of change because all lines have to have a rate of change. And then we're going to talk about non-proportional. So for non-proportional, the graph is linear, but does not pass through the origin. So we're talking about non-proportional lines because technically I suppose it could be non-linear, but we want to focus on lines that aren't proportional. Then our equation is going to come in this form, y equals mx plus b, meaning we're going to have something attached to the end, like y equals 2x plus 1, y equals 3x plus 5, y equals 4x minus 3, it could be subtracted, or y equals 1 half x plus 7. We could have fractions or decimals embedded in there, but all we're looking for is basically a plus or minus if it is written in order. And then for a table, the y over x ratio is not constant. That means it doesn't have a COP, but because it's linear, it does have a rate of change. And we'll maybe add one other note before we wrap this up, which is, so constant of proportionality or COP we talked about that. That was our y over x. But rate of change was m, which is rise over run, which is change in y over change in x. So there's a difference between these. So all lines have an M, a rise over run or a change in Y over change in X, but not all lines have a Y over X that stays the same. 
So that's our summary table for the two types of lines that we're going to be studying and the two types of lines that we've actually seen, which is proportional and non-proportional.